Welcome back to Born in the Deep. It's hot here at Reliant Stadium, but that's not stopping Maylene and Emeka, who are down on the track squaring off in the first ever G4 host showdown. They grab Sam Hubinette and Reese Millen and con them into helping them kill the downtime before the round of eight. Oh, I was checking for my vanity mirror. There's no vanity mirror. We did remove that, yes. Yeah. It's gonna be hard to pick a winner, so I'm just gonna let these two fight it out. Back to the sideways action with the crazy Swede, Sam Hubinet, and the SRT power of the Mopar Viper, taking on the McKinney Motorsports S13, driven by Tanner Faust. Here's our track announcer, J-Rod. Tanner Faust coming in hot, Sam Hubinet. Right on him, but no angle. Tanner Faust fighting him off with a good drift and good angle. Woo! Sam Humanet offline. Tanner Faust, wow, looking real good. Advantage goes to Tanner. Here we go, Sam Humanet leading, trying to pull away from Tanner. SRT 10, trying to bang on all 10 cylinders. Tanner Faust banging on all turbos. Sam back on the throttle. Tanner fighting for his, oh, fighting for his life! Oh, man! Look at that! Sam Humanet, Tanner Faust. What do you say, Houston? Give it up for Sam Humanet, but Tanner Faust moves on to the final four! Young Tanner Faust, you are the newcomer here, and you just beat Sam, who won Drift Atlanta. I know. How does that feel? It's, uh, it's awesome, because Samuel doesn't lose, you know? He makes you, if you're gonna beat him, you have to do something risky to do it. I've been watching him for a long time. I work with Samuel 200 days a year, and he's a great driver and does not make mistakes. And so, to beat him is really, uh, it's really an honor. Sam, it's bittersweet, isn't it? I mean, if you had to be defeated, you would want it to be by Tanner, wouldn't you say? Oh yeah, that's for sure. Uh, no, he's you know he's a great friend of mine, and I actually hooked him up with uh, McKinney Motorsports, so he deserves it. He's been struggling for a long time to get to top 16, and he made it, so good good for him. Tanner's in the final four, and will joust with either Conrad Grunewald in the Dynamic Motorsports S14, or the bruised and battered AE86 of Taka Ayano. Underdog. You're right, you're right. This is my hometown, so I grew up here. Uh, uh -huh. So there's definitely some uh, so, some Houston in me, uh, and I, I'm actually getting pretty lucky. I feel very bad for Taka. He's a very good friend of mine, and I feel very bad that, that I had to, you know, win like that. You've had some unusual luck with your car and, and walls uh, at this event. What's been going on? I don't know. <laughs> well, I get used to it now, I guess. <laughs> Hitting wall twice in the weekend. What does it feel like when you see this wall coming at you and you have nothing to do? Well, usually I try not to see the wall because usually when you look at it, that's where you go. So was there considerable damage to your car? Yeah, I think the rear axle was broken and the front wheel is in uh, three or four pieces. Oh no, Taka. Yeah. Are you going to be ready for Sonoma? We'll try. Let's see how it goes. 
Coming up, more of the round of eight. Don't you move. Welcome back to the track, everybody. Ken Gushi and Tyler McQuarrie are getting ready to do battle. Ken Gushi, who last year drove an S13, finds himself behind the wheel of a factory-backed 05 Ford Mustang this year. What I also like about this car is that it has a lot of torque. It's easy to drift when we have a lot of torque because we can recover a lot easier compared to 240s where you got to be clutch tipping all the time. Uh, with this Mustang, I can always be on a throttle and create a lot of smoke and aggression. Under the hood, this pony has 550 horsepower, a Ford Racing Cobra engine, and a Whipple Supercharger. But that's not all that's on this beast. I have a shift knob. We had a little, like, a long stick the previous round. So this round, we got a shorter, smaller one for less travel, faster, faster shifts. Moving on to the car, the exterior, we got a new hood. This is a newer hood from the previous one. We got, a, we got two like slots in the front and a bigger duct right here so the air pulls in from here and kind of drags it out from the rear. As you can see here, I took out the brake booster for a more direct feeling of the brakes. If you've ever wanted to ride shotgun with the goosh, here's your chance. I added a new seat. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I didn't have a seat for the previous round. So. <laughs> Passengers are welcome, preferably girls. Ken's taken his Mustang to battle with the Jasper performance power of Tyler McQuarrie Super. Is it gonna be Goosh or McQuarrie? We'll soon find out. Here comes Tyler, he's leading. Goosey falling behind. Tyler, whoa, Goosey coming in at his back. Oh my, wow! Forcing Tyler out of the way. Tyler got scared. Goosey just muscled his way in. That's what it does, it's a muscle car. Wow, Kushi! Give it up for Kushi and Tyler. Obvious advantage goes to Kushi. He was in drift, beeline towards him, and Tyler just got nervous. Advantage, Ken Kushi. Ken Kushi pulling away, sandbagging on him. Kushi coming in at speed. Tom McCory falling off. Kushi with good angle, late flick, clutch kick. Boom. Nice clipping point for both of them. Ken Gushi coming in the chicane. Tom McCory on his back bumper, getting out of shape. Ken Gushi, Tom McCory, give it up. I don't know. The Gushi moves on. That looks like a piece of cake for you out there. No, actually, it was, a, it was pr pretty hard because I wasn't expecting him to make a miss. So when I was behind him, I, I saw that he shot out a little bit. And his steering was going towards the neutral position. So I thought to myself, oh, this is a chance. So I stuck my head to the inside and he went wider, so I took his line and overpassed him. Feels good. So you're moving on. Who are you worried about? Um, to be honest, I'm worried about myself. As long as I don't make any mistakes, I should be fine. So I'm just out here to have fun. Tyler, how are you? You've come this far and Gushi took you down. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm extremely disappointed. So I was just expecting a lot more. And just going on the first run, going down from third to second, clutch in, car died, and then it just pushed, started to understeer, and that's how it got by me over there. So I'm not happy at all, but you know, for our first event this year, qualifying fourth, you know, we'll, we'll take it. Reese Millen, the Kiwi who was born to slide, has taken his Pontiac GTO to a dogfight with Japanese national Sego Yamamoto and the Falcon Tires FDRX7. Pontiac Factory GTO, Sego Yamamoto, Falcon RX-7. Reese pulling away. Little Evo Sego out of shape. Reese Mellon, he just needs to run his own game, and he's got the advantage. Sego Yamamoto out of shape, loses it going into turn one. Automatic advantage, Reese Mellon. Here we go, Sego Yamamoto leading. Reese Mellon falling behind. Strobe lights to Sego, going off. See if they'll light up the action. Whoa! E brake. Sega got motor rocking the e brake slide. Reese Mellon. Sego coming tight but swinging wide. Gives an opportunity for Reese, but Sego fights him off. Reese Mellon. Oh! Sego take out a cone. 
re-spill it, it's all over back bumper. I'm surprised there's no yellow paint on there. Reese Millen gave the number one as he passed by the judging stand. Reese Millen moves on to the final four. Tell me what happened out there. He said he lost to him, and the reason he lost to him is because he lost to an American driving style. So next time he says he's going to beat him with the Japanese driving style. Tanner Faust, Conrad Grunewald, Ken Gushi, and Reese Millen. Those are your semifinalists. Stick around. What's up, Formula D? We got four drifters left, but only one will be called the King of Texas. In the semifinals, it's the privateers and the fully sponsored. Starting with Tanner Faust in the McKinney Motorsports S13, taking on Conrad Grunewald in the Motorsports Dynamics S14. Let's go back to J-Rod to see what's going down. All right, guys, here we go. This is it. Final four. Get on your feet. Here we go. Conrad Grunewald coming in with Tanner Faust not far behind. Tanner Faust sucking up to Conrad. Conrad with good angle. Swings wide. Tanner Faust coming in with a straight line. Tanner sucking back up on Conrad. Woo, they're going to tap bumpers. Tanner all over Conrad. Tanner Faust coming in straight in that first line. All right, here we go. Tanner Faust leading. Conrad Grunewald following. Tanner Faust, McKinney Motorsports S13. Coming into turn one. Good angle. Conrad falling off. But Conrad's catching up fast. Tanner Faust, nice angle, tight on the clipping point. Conrad sucking up on him. Tanner Faust losing him a little bit. Nice angle, good flip crossover. I don't know. I do not know. Tanner, Conrad, what do you guys think? Conrad Grunewald moves on. It's the Houston pride, isn't it? That's exactly what it is. I'm bringing it to the hometown. I'm ready to go up against Reese. I'm ready for him. So You're ready for Reese? Absolutely. I'm ready for Reese. Were you worried at all going up against Tanner? I mean, you both are kind of new to this. Yep. And uh, he beat Sam in the last round. Yeah, Tanner's a phenomenal driver. I led first, and I saw him make a mistake behind me. As I'm sliding in, I looked over my shoulder, and I saw he was straight. And I could hear Jared say, oh, no, Tanner straightened it out. And then I kind of knew on the last run, all I had to do was be smooth. I didn't have to be too aggressive, and that's what I did, and I made it to the final round. So, so it I'm gave good. you a little boost of confidence, and you just held it together, right? Absolutely. Ah, oh, Tanner, dude. Yeah. You did so well, and this just proves that one little mistake can affect yeah, everything. Yeah, it, was, uh, it is too bad. But that's, that's, that's the cool thing about this sport, and that's why you get so nervous doing it, is that uh, the smallest little mistake is enough to push the, the judging the other way. And what was that mistake in this one? Uh, I came in really early on Conrad. Uh, he kind of went a little bit wide, like a qualifying type line. And I came very close to the inside, thinking I could get next to him and maybe intimidate him. And uh, his car has pretty good grip. And he came in and kind of closed the door on me and did a great job on that. So I had to straighten out for just a second to avoid hitting him. It's another Detroit showdown here in the semifinals with Reese Millen and his RMR Pontiac GTO squaring off with Ken Gushi and the Toyo Tires Mustang. Here we go, Reese Millen, Ken Gushi. Reese Millen gonna lean. Ken Gushi falling. Reese sandbagging, pulling away. Gushi initiating, initiating drift late. Whoa! Reese swinging wide, but Gushi must be on the inside. Gushi giving a run for his money. Gushi all over Reese. Look at him beeline doing the back bumper. Oh, man. Ken Gushi giving a run for Pontiac's money, the GTL. Gushi's got to make it good. I don't Advantage, Gushi? No advantage, even. Make it a break, do or die. Ken Gushi coming in hot. Reese Millen has something to prove. Here we go, the Goosh. Little angle fighting off Reese. Fighting off Reese, here he comes. Reese Millen coming in on him, coming to the outside. Ken Goosh, you're all over the place. Reese Millen swinging back wide through the chicane. I do not know. I don't know. What do you guys think, Houston? Slow 
the start in the drift box. Reese Mill pulling away from Goosh. Goosh should come in a straight line. Beeline it towards the back bumper. Reese is on his game with the clipping part really tight. Goosh, he's falling off a little bit. Can Reese stay consistent? Can Goosh catch up? Can Goosh falling off a little bit? Small advantage to Reese Millen. Ken Gushi's going to lead. Reese Millen following. This car, this track has a lot of grip. Here comes Gush. Hot and on fire. He's already initiating drift. Look at Reese. Gets out of shape. Reese gets out of shape to Gush. But Reese is right back on that Ford bumper. Tor oh! Reese sucking back on his bumper. Ken Gushi, hard break. Reese all over him. Fights back. She just went up against Reese Millen. They went one time, had to go again. They went a second time, and you know what? There's a new rule. They can't go the third time. We're trying to figure out who just won, and it looks like we just heard Ken Gushi is moving on to the finals. He has defeated Reese Millen. Yeah. You just defeated Reese Millen. Oh. Say it with me. Reese, Reese Millen. Millen. How does that feel? Good. <laughs> I'm still like, like, panic mode, so I don't know what's going on, but, you know, we're both, like, American car drivers. We're, we're kind of like brothers. He's a great friend of mine. You know, without him, I couldn't have gone this far because he's, like, a really great motivation to me. I mean, I call him boss. What was going on out there? I mean, it was so intense. My heart was pounding. It still is. I'm trying to get over it right now. Um, I don't know. That was more my mistake than, um, than, than Ken doing anything wrong. I just got a little over jealous at the at the follow position and the car turned to into an understeer. That's nature of the sport. You really don't know how to how hard to push. I haven't run against Ken on this circuit, so I didn't really know his style or his technique and um, I made a mistake. When we come back, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. Conrad and Gushi duke it out in the finals. Welcome back, everybody. The consolation round is going to determine who gets the podium and who has to go on the trail. The battle for third place is home again this week for Kiwi Reese Millen. Reese has taken his go to the line against his buddy Tanner Faust in the McKinney Motorsports S13. Let's go back to J Rod to see what's going down. Tanner Faust, Reese Millen, Reese Millen leading. Coming to the drip box, same speed. Reese Millen pulls away on LS1, making do. Tanner Faust, not far behind. Early drift, swinging wide. Tanner Faust coming in on the inside. Reese fighting off Tanner. Tanner came in way too tight to that clipping point, taking out the cone. Reese Miller running his own game, but Tanner giving him a run for his money. Woo! That was a tight one. Tanner Faust is going to lead. Tanner Faust with McKinney Motorsports S13. Smoking the deadlocks early. Reese Miller has to initiate an early drift. Tanner out of shape. Reese Millen runs his game. Reese Millen automatically. Does he win or what? Reese Millen, he gave up the Tanner Faust. Tanner Faust gave up a plot to Reese Millen. Give it up for Reese Millen. He's a third place winner. Well, you've been on the podium every event. Good luck to you. I know there's more great things to come. And it was about time that you let somebody else win, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. No, you know, I can't say enough again for my sponsors, um, for the talent that is growing in this series in, in one year. Um, you know, you've got a lot of new names here. Uh, Conrad, Tanner making it into the top four. It, it's, it's amazing to see the, the gameplay being stepped up by everyone, and it just pushes myself and others to, to work harder. And uh, what you saw today is all that I had. The battle for first is here, and we've got relative newcomer Conrad Grunwald in the Motorsport Dynamic S14 running against the future, Ken Gushi in the 05 Toyo Tires Mustang. Here we go! Gosh, Conrad Grunwald breaking away from Ken Gushi. Ken Gushi's got to play catch-up to Conrad. Early, 
Whoa, Conrad swinging really wide, and the Clippy Boy gives Ken the opportunity to muscle in on him. No pun intended. Conrad Grunewald fighting off the goosh. Good angle on the chicane. The Gushi, hardly any angle coming to the chicane. That was a tough battle. Conrad fought off Goosh. Swing really wide, but Goosh did not attack when he should have. Here we go. The Goosh. Conrad Grunewald, your local boy, Conrad. The Goosh, 18-year-old phenom. The Goosh is going to lead. Tries to break away in his supercharged Toyo Tires Mustang. Barking him up. Back of tires coming up on his back bumper. Conrad brake check. Sticking on his back bumper. All over Goosh's Conrad. I don't know. This is too close to judge. Conrad swinging wide in the chicane. I do not know. <laughs> now here we go. Judges are thinking about it. I gotta run one more time. Ken Gushi, we'll explain to you later. We're going to run it one more time. Conrad Grunwald, hop on the bumps. Gushi, muscling out his back bumper. Conrad Grunwald, whoa, the Goosh. Coming in tight next to him. Conrad fighting him off. Goosh playing catch up, but he's right there on his back bumper. match here ladies and gentlemen when we come back it's trophy time we're back in houston it's time to find out who's on top of the podium after a great battle between ken gushi and conrad grunewald let's get with j-rod to see what the judges thought of the final it's a good battle it's a good battle but second place Goes to Houston's own Conrad Grunewald. With that being said, the winner, the Goosh, 18 years old, Phenom. Ken Gushi wins first place, round three. Need for Speed Formula Drip presented by Circuit City. Ken Gushi, congratulations to you all. You were so awesome. How does it feel to take first? Uh, it feels great. I want to thank my competitors first, though. You know, without them, I wouldn't be here. And the rest of my sponsors. Without Toyo, Ford Racing, Gushi Auto. My manager, my dad, my whole family is here too. So I want to thank everyone out there and all the fans. You know, the funny thing is that Ken and I went against each other last year at uh, Laguna Seca for a road and track event. And uh, he pipped me there too. So I, w I was eager to get him back. I made a mistake following. Um, you're not going to get it right all the time, but this is three events and three podiums. We extended our points lead. Very happy for Yokohama and Pontiac. Congratulations to Ken and Conrad for putting on an awesome display. They deserve to be up here. We'll push forward for Sonoma now. Well, Conrad, you are the hometown hero. Yeah. Congratulations. You actually said what you wanted to do, and you did it. You said you wanted to beat Reese. Technically, yeah. you did. <laughs> what was the last run like? Uh, it was very hard. Uh, our speeds were, were much different going into the first corner. Um, and I, I felt pretty solid whenever I led. And it was hard to judge the closing distance with Ken. Uh, and I ended up going off the course. But it was a good run overall. And I'm, I'm stoked to be up here. I'm glad to get a podium. So. Well, great job, guys. We'll see you in Sonoma. Oh, yeah. I'm here with the Gooshies, Ken's mother, father, and sister. I can't even imagine how you're feeling right now. How proud are you of your son? I'm so happy. I was always crying after the, you know, the post brace. So I'm so happy today. It's finally hearing. You know, at the car, it's fast year to come out for the 2005 Mustang. It's with so many work in the car, then, you know, sometimes so much trouble. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, my great son, he made it. There he so. is. <laughs> he made it. At any time, was were you worried? Were you nervous? When was that moment when you were the most nervous for him? I have no nervous, you know. I, you know, after he qualified in the top 16, then, you know, he 
you know, feel like more comfortable. I can see it and, you know, just go whatever you want. Well, I'm so thrilled. Congratulations. Let's get a family hug here. I'll join in. After three rounds of the Formula Drift Championship, the Kiwi Reese Millen is in first place with 279 points. The crazy Swede Sam Hubinet is in second with 226. And knocking on the door is the future Ken Gushi with 224 points. I'll tell you what, Houston knows how to throw a party. What an incredible finish, huh? Definitely. I am so happy for Ken. He's only 18 years old. There's a bright future ahead of him. I know we're going to be seeing a lot of him. All right, my man, what'd you like the best? Yo, I'll tell you one thing. People here in Texas are crazy about drifting. They even trash talk. They will take you down. I love Texas. I love drifting. It was a great show. Hey, hot drifting, hot girls. This show was the best. We'll see you guys in Sonoma. We're out.